Dudes, it's Sunday. Kind of a chill day, so Sunday's the day I like to throw up a video that's not exactly cars, but it's still car related and it's still art and it's part of the big picture and it's part of everything that's gonna come together. So initially I had made this for another channel I was working on, but I decided since everything is on this channel and it's all part of this channel and the art and the painting and stuff like that, it's all practice for being able to work on a car. And usually anything I do paint is on a car, for a car, about a car, or something close to automotive motor stuff. So check it out, enjoy today's video. We're painting uh, that. See how I paint that yin yang kind of deal? And uh, anyways, enjoy. Okay, so I'm putting some pencil lines on the wall. I had to use something to make sure I made a almost perfect circle to trace out. I often use pencil to trace out the stuff so I know where I'm going with it, what the proportions are. As you can see now, that circle is pretty circular, which is good. So now I'm laying in some blue. I wanted to give it a flame job, as you can tell, a little bit of a tribal influence because like the yin yang thing, I just thought it was kind of suited. I don't know if that's... <laughs> Anyway, so getting into it, adding some color, some depth, some thickness. I really didn't want to make it this colorful and that thick. That's not what I had in mind, but that's what we're getting. So I used some stencil work here, throw down some true flame style, if you will. Did some purple like that, it has metallic in it, so does the base blue. And now I go over with a higher, like a highlighted color blue, a baby blue, to kind of give it like some 3D, some shape, some it's just the dark colors would give it a shadow, some depth, so I figured with the highlights it'll, it'll pop a little bit more. And so as you can see here, again, I, I feel like I went too far with all the colors. Uh, but that's, I made the best of it, did the best I could with it. So now we get into the hot colors, the opposite side of the yin yang. The idea behind this was really to get, like, I'm a Libra, so I tend to like balance stuff out, I guess. And when it comes to my cars, which I'm very much into, I have a old school V8 car, which is like it's an old Pontiac, it's the most American style car you can get probably. And I also have a right hand drive JDM RX-7, which is the most Japanese car I can find. And this shows the balance, how I feel about it. So there it is with a bunch of highlights. I did also the white for the rotor and the piston as you can see, and the white around the circle, just to give it some pop and make it a little bit brighter. So the end part we're getting near putting down the blacks I like to do the black at the end because if you try to color stuff in it gets kind of weird and easy and whatnot so often I'll do black and then I'll go lay down some highlights over top of that and this is the finished product the piston and the rotary yin yang symbol looking to achieve balance so that's it for today's video I'll see you guys next Sunday these are older ones that I'm kind of bringing back. They were from a different channel, like I said, but still kind of cool content, so we're going to roll with it for a couple weeks. Next week, we're going to paint the pinup girl that's inside my shop, so stay tuned. 